friends, welcome back for another weekend of Children's Liturgy of the Word. This is a very special weekend. It's the weekend of November 20th and November 21st. It's the very last weekend in our church year. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of Christ the King. And that's why we have a white table, a white cloth on our table. And you will notice that in the church, everything is decorated beautifully in white because it's a feast day. Now, this is the last weekend that we are going to be using our green books. It is the end of the church year known as year B. So if you remember, we have year A, we have year B, and we have year C. And every year we go through different cycles of readings for our masses. This year, we are finishing up with year B and next year, next Sunday, starting Advent, we're going to be starting out with a brand new book, the year of book C. Now today, Christ the King, what is that? Well, we celebrate Christ as the ruler of all of our lives in every single aspect, because you know what? Jesus is the most important thing in our lives. And that's why we take this last day of our church year to celebrate as Christ is the king of our worlds. Now, I'm going to tell you about a song today, and it was written about preparing for when Christ comes again. Now, what does that mean when Christ comes again to this earth? It's when he comes down from heaven and he unites heaven and earth together, and we can all live in a beautiful, perfect world. It's going to be amazing. So I want you to listen to the song. There are some hand motions. Everybody who's been to my children's liturgy knows that I love my jazz hands. So I want you to listen to the words and I want you to watch what my hands do. And we're going to figure out what these words mean. Okay, ready? Prepare the way for the coming of God. Make a straight path. Every valley Fill it in, every mountain make it small. Crooked pathways make them straight. All the rough land make it smooth. All will see God's power is strong. God has promised glory comes. So again, remember that we have to make our lives nice and straight, not crooked, not bad. Follow a nice straight path that Jesus wants us to follow so that we can be in his kingdom with him when he comes back again. St. John tells us in the Bible that Jesus became the king of all humanity because he conquered death. Now, do you remember what that means? Jesus sacrificed himself. He died so that after we die, we can enjoy heaven forever with him. And in our gospel today, Jesus reminds us that his kingdom is different from any other kingdom. So let's find out what Jesus has to say about that. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Pilate called Jesus over and asked, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, are you asking this on your own, or did someone tell you about me? You know I am not a Jew, Pilate said. Your own people and the chief priests brought you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If it did, my followers would have fought to keep the Jewish leaders from handing you me over to you. No, my kingdom does not belong to this world. So you are a king, Pilate replied. You are saying that I am a king, Jesus told him. I was born into this world to tell about the truth, and everyone who belongs to the truth knows my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, well, that is a reading from our our Lenten season, because that is the story about Jesus before he sacrificed himself. Now, I'm going to go through a list of a couple things, and I want you to tell me what does not belong. Okay, ready? Really hard questions here. Sandal, 
boot, tennis shoes, and hat. Which one doesn't belong? The hat, that's right, because it goes on your head, not on your feet. Okay, got the hang of it? Knife, fork, spoon, or straw? That's right, the straw, because you drink out of it, not use it to eat real food. Okay, ready? Pencil, pen, crayon, or clothespin? You may not even know what a clothespin is. Well, that's the one that doesn't belong. Now, a pen, a pencil, and a crayon you can use to write with, but a clothespin, that just hangs clothes to dry. So that one doesn't belong. All right, one more. Ready? Book, magazine, notebook, and CD. Do you guys know what a CD is? I hope you do. Okay, well a CD doesn't belong because that you listen to music on and the rest you could write in or you can read. So let's talk about four different kings who lived long ago and I want you to think about which one doesn't belong, okay? King Winslis, now we sing a song about him at Christmas time. He helped bring Christianity to his country and he shared his riches. That was great, right? Okay. Henry VIII, have you guys ever heard of Henry VIII? Henry VIII, I am. Okay. He was a wicked king of England who ordered many people to be killed. Well, that doesn't sound very good, does it? All right. Herod. Herod was a proud Jewish king and he ordered the death of John the Baptist and he played a part in Jesus' death. Hmm. Christ the king, he rules the kingdom of heaven who won it by conquering sin and death with the power of love. Now, which one of those don't belong? That's right. Again, it's the fourth answer, Christ. He doesn't belong with the rest. Even though King Winslet was a good king and he shared his riches, he still had a kingdom here on earth and not in heaven. And we all want to be a part of that heaven and we all wanna to go to heaven, that's our goal in life. So I want you to go out this week, the very last week of our church year, and I want you to make a straight path and that will lead us right to heaven. So have a great week and we'll see you soon.